This is breaking news from News 8. This is a circus. The consequences will extend long past my nomination. I believed he was going to rape me. I tried to yell for help. Two emotional testimonies, two different stories about one night in 1982. We are in the middle of a Senate hearing involving the U.S. Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, and the woman who says he sexually assaulted her. That woman, Christine Blasey Ford, testified for about four hours today detailing what she said happened. Brett Kavanaugh denied everything and defended his name. Throughout my 53 years and seven months on this earth until last week, no one ever accused me of any kind of sexual misconduct. No one ever. A lifetime, a lifetime of public service and a lifetime of high profile public service. Meanwhile, Ford said she was terrified of this hearing but felt it was her civic duty to come forward. She also says she has suffered from PTSD since the alleged incident. My greatest fears have been realized and the reality has been far worse than what I expected. My family and I have been the target of constant harassment and death threats and I've been called the most vile and hateful names imaginable. Ford says during a house party when she was 15 years old, Kavanaugh, who was then 17, and another teen pushed her into a bedroom. She says Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed and tried to remove her clothes, then put his hand over her mouth when she tried to scream. She says she was able to escape and lock herself in a bathroom. She says she has only disclosed this to her therapist, her husband, and a few close friends.